Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. In our today's video, we will talk about the mean of ungrouped data. So along this video, I'll be giving you the definition of the mean, the formula in calculating the mean, and we will try to solve real-life examples for the mean of ungrouped data. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, um, before I start defining the mean, I want you to remember that mean, median, and mode are under the measures of central tendency. Again, the measures of central tendency. And this time, our target natin is to calculate for the mean of ungrouped data. So how do we define mean? Mean is the set or mean is the average of a set of numbers. Again, mean is the average of set of numbers. In layman's term, isipin mo na lang na ano, yung mean ay yung average of the given data set. Para mas madali mong tandaan. Kasi yung median sa kamod, meron sa ibang definition. Okay? So to find, to find the mean of an group data, again ha, I want to give emphasis to this one. Ito ay formula for the mean of an group data. We have here x bar is equal to the summation of x over n. Itong x bar natin, this one is the symbol for mean. And this one, yung ating summation of x, it is the sum of the given set of numbers. Ibig sabihin yan, in calculating this, the mean of ungrouped data, all you need to do, for uh, you need to do first is to add all the data in the given number set. And n is the number of items in the number in the set of numbers so yan yung mga uh, terms na meron tayo so we have your example number one we're in the grades in advanced algebra of 10 students are 82 85 79 78 89 87 88 89 75 77 and here's the question what is their average grade so when we talk about the average grade isipin nyo na lang that we are asked for the mean of this given data set. These are the grades of 10 students in their algebra class. We don't know if what grade, if what quarter or is it their final grade. So to calculate for the mean using this formula, you have the bar x is equal to the summation of x over n. Again, summation of x over and we're in to calculate for the summation of x, we need to add this given numbers. You have 82 plus 85 plus 79 plus 78 plus 89 plus 87 plus 88 plus 89 plus 75 plus 77 over for the value of n. Alam naman natin that these are the grades of 10 students, meaning the value of n is equal to 10. Okay? So, add natin yung sa numerator natin. Your bar x is equal to 829 over 10. And simplifying this, this will give you the quotient of 829 divided by 10 is simply 82.9. So, pwede naman, you can round it off. And you can write here 8 or 83. So ito ngayon yung average grade ng 10 students in their algebra class. In the next part of our video, I will give you another example wherein we practice nyo on how to calculate the mean or the average of a given data set. Now for item number 2 naman, we have here the problem. Find the average sale of banana Q in the school canteen if the daily sales are as follows. By the way, for those students who do not know Banana Q, it is the favorite. It is one of the favorite merienda of Filipino, wherein you're frying a banana and meron siya kasamang sugar, tapos nilalagay sa stick in yung Banana Q. So, ito yung mga, ano, ito yung mga sales bawat araw. You have your Monday, nakalbenda sila ng 352.6 pesos and 60 centavos. We have here, so Tuesday naman, 220 pesos and 75 centavos. So Wednesday, nakagbenta sila ng 347 pesos. Thursday, 210 pesos and 50 centavos. 
And on Friday, nakabenta sila ng 193 pesos and 50 centavos. Since we are asked for the average sales, so ikakalculate natin yung mean kasi siya yung average ng given data set. Remember, the formula is the var x is equal to, or x bar is equal to the summation of x over n. So, we can have your summation of x, or bar x is equal to, the summation of x natin, we need to add this five amounts. So, you have um, this one, 352.6 pesos, or 50, um, sorry, 60 centavos. The next is 220 pesos and 75 centavos plus yung third natin sa Wednesday. We have 300, nagyan natin ng pesos, 347 pesos only plus yung fourth day and Thursday which is nakabenta sa lang 210 pesos and 50 centavos and lastly for Friday nakabenta sila ng 193 pesos and 50 centavos over yan yung n natin it is the number of days ng nakabenta sila kasi meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements or numbers sa given data set na meron tayo this one is equivalent to 5 so, to calculate for the mean, add mo lang to lahat and it will give you 1,324 pesos and 35 centavos. And then divided by 5, your mean here or the average sales is equal to 264. 87 pesos or kung gusto nyo i-gawin yung whole number pwede naman ilagay nyo dito ay 285 pesos ito yung kanilang daily average sales ng bananak nyo sa isang school canteen so I hope na yung ating two examples ay nakapagbigay sa inyo ng learning on how to calculate for the mean of a given and group data so if you have any question about our discussion or kung meron kang requested topic that you want me to discuss, feel free to put it here in our comment section. And by the way, meron na rin tayong video about the mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data na pinagsama-sama ko at ilalagay ko siya sa ating description box. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, syempre, and subscribe ka na rin for more videos and I hope na patuloy niyo supportahan yung aking channel and God bless you. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!